Hello and welcome to this week's bonus episode of So Fired. It's our friendly advice. Yeah. We're Dr. Lindsay and Chelsea. Yep. Welcome. Welcome. Okay, so on these segments, we take your questions from Instagram and we answer them. And whatever we don't get to, we will answer those on Patreon. And um, there's, I don't know, like 15, 20 questions here. So if we get through one, that's usually a miracle. Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Let's see. The newest, I'll just go newest to oldest. Are you close with your parents? <laughs> <laughs> oh, how much time Who asked do we this have? question? Started off with a doozy. Is this really the one we want? Let's just go with it. All right. You go first. No. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and no. No. I. Let's see how to summarize this. Um, I am from Wisconsin, a small town, and I knew early on that was not for me. I knew I had to get out of there as soon as possible. And I think that uh, with my parents, they see that as like, I'm not grateful for anything in my life. Oh, and man. like, you don't know where you came from. Stay humble. Like, blah, blah, blah. That's like the gist of the story that's been going on for a while since I've moved. And um, yeah, I don't know. We're just like not close. I wish I could say like, oh, I want to call my mom and like tell her something, you know, maybe sometimes, but I have you to call. So <laughs> it just made my day. Yeah. Okay. I'm close so. with them. I'm, well, my dad passed about 12 years ago, maybe longer. Um, and I was very close to both my parents' time after he passed. Although I am close with my mother, we don't really get along well. Mm -hmm. It's a very fractured relationship. Mm -hmm. So we are as, but like, we know each other very well. Yeah. I would say I'm not close with my parents, but we get along well when we are together, because when you talk every like three to six months, what is there to fight about? You know, no, we yeah. talk all the time. And yet there is so much to fight about. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that just happens because I mean, if you're seeing someone all the time, someone's gotta yeah. say something when, except for us. Yeah. What's next? Who's the last dude you texted? My husband, Doug. Okay, sweet. Nice yeah. one. How many friends do you have? Not many. <laughs> just you. <laughs> I have you. This is how I kind of rank it. If you're pinned to my, <laughs> if you are pinned on my text messages of people, then you're in my circle and I talk to you. So there's um, eight people, wow. eight friends, I would say. I Let me do see. you do that in your text messages? Yeah. I, since you taught me. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. You have six, nine. Seven. Nine. <laughs> oh, nine. Oh, who's your number one spot? You. Oh, who's wow. yours? Austin. Why, why am I not second? Because when I pinned these a while ago in the order of text messages that were in order on my phone, that was the order. Yeah. I don't like what you're saying right now. <laughs> All right. Go Technically, on. it could be number two if you go down this way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like connect four. Yeah. Okay. What's the next question? Next question is, what do you do when you're bored? Like stare off at the wall? <laughs> kind of. Yeah. I can waste time like nobody's business. I guess. Do you get bored? No. Wow. No, <laughs> I certainly do not. That's a skill. It is indeed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, when I get bored, I will read a book. I will watch TV. I will work on the tiny house. I will just go out and run errands. That's probably a big one. I'm like, I'm going to go to Target because I have literally nothing to do. I would not do that. <laughs> you would rather stare at a wall. Yeah. Yeah. I'll yeah. go for a walk. Mm. Uh, uh, no, actually being bored. I don't walk when I'm bored. I walk intent with intent intention. Yeah. No, I, I walk for a purpose. You're like quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's the worst date you've been on? I can't remember. Um, okay. Well, I'm just going to tell you about this one time I dated this guy in college because mm -hmm. I've honestly only been on like a few dates until we, I started dating Austin. So I don't think like once you go on a first date and then we're dating, I don't really know if that counts as like dates per se. I count like a first date as a date. Okay. So this guy, Johnny, I was in college, terrible, name. terrible. Terrible, terrible name. First of all, I met him at a house party and he's like, what's your name? And I'm like, Lindsay Lohan. And he's like, no, like, what's your real name? I'm like Lindsay Lohan. He's like, no, I'm like, like all night. He's like, what is your name? I'm like Lindsay Lohan. So somehow, finally, I got drunk enough to give him my number and my phone is like Lindsay Lohan. So we went out to dinner one night 
after he asked me like 10,000 times and I, okay, this guy's like not cute at all. He had kind of like a bowl cut going on. Wow. Like a blonde shade why'd you agree, cut. Why'd you agree to this? Oh my God. I don't know. I think this is just when a time when I drank a lot and it was just like bad decisions left and right. And then I was like, girls got to eat. It's the end of school year. I'm out of money. Like, <laughs> I will take a free meal. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. So we go to some like restaurant out in the middle of nowhere, fettuccine Alfredo. <laughs> Sick. I know. I'm just like thinking that it's disgusting now because you work at the restaurant and all I can think about now is fettuccine Alfredo in a hundred degree weather and how disgusting that is. Ugh. Then I think after dinner, we went back to his dorm room and this is why I cannot stand this person because I wanted to watch The Real Housewives of Orange County and he insisted on playing a guitar the entire time and like strumming his guitar, playing some kind of song, like making shit up or like da da da. And I'm like, uh-huh, uh-huh. And I'm trying to turn off the TV. Like, I, I can't hear. Like, you sound like the worst date. <laughs> He's trying to feel romantic. Oh my God. Like, he was like, put a sock in it, Johnny. Oh my God. He was so annoying. And then, and then we ended up dating because I got drunk again. What? I know. Come on. I know. And, um, yeah. Then he asked me to get, be his girlfriend apparently when I was drunk. And I said, yes, is what I heard. A so, lot of choices. Oh my God. So we dated for like a couple of months and then, um, school was over for the summer. So I went back home. And he's texting me like all day, every day, and I'm working and I'm not texting him back. And he's like, why aren't you texting me back? I'm like, I'm busy. And then finally, I just, I was supposed to go to with a wedding, to a wedding with him. And I broke up with him like the day before. I was like, yeah, I can't go. And he's like, why not? I'm like, because I'm breaking up with you. And he's like, why? I'm like, because he's just like text me too much. And he was just like too much. <laughs> he's like, I'm trying to make this work. And uh, I'm like, okay. <laughs> story yeah so the worst date ever led to like the worst like short-term boyfriend ever nice yeah <laughs> i don't remember any of my dates none no i don't remember them being bad yeah they're all good you're like the i was like you're like yeah they were bad i mean i had to fly like coach one time we took me on vacation uh no what <laughs> happened was they turned out to be horrific relationships <laughs> but like all horrific relationship partners they put a really good foot forward. Mm. So the first one, the first dates were always like extravagant over the top. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Rarely the coach is a, anyway, so <laughs> I'm not gonna dignify that. <laughs> so yeah. What else, what other questions um, do we have? Well, you know, I think. Is that can, it? Yep. That's it. And then we'll answer the rest on Patreon. And then earlier in the week, we recorded an episode about your relationship and a relationship a relationship so there's a bonus story to that which will also be on patreon oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you guys don't want to miss it no because you do not. if you thought this other one had twists and turns this one's so much better yeah th and it's so funny it's so funny. so make sure that you subscribe to our patreon channel there are three different tiers for five dollars a month you support our smoothie habits we gotta eat we gotta too. eat we don't have any more dates to pay for our food yeah <laughs> And then for the $10 a month tier, you get all the behind the scenes, all the bonus episodes. Um, yeah, all that. And then for the $20 a month, you get all of that plus a one-on-one -on -one call with us and you can be on the show and discounted tickets for future events. So yeah. Whoop, whoop. All right. Sweet. Yep. Great. See you next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye.